Hi there, this is Clovis from Kinematic Lab. So first of all, some of you might wonder what actually is a matcap. A matcap is a type of material where all the material shading, reflections, highlight shadows, etc. is baked on a single image and applied to the normal space of the geometry. So it's used a lot in sculpting applications like ZBrush for example which made it popular and it's very useful for checking models but you could also use it for fast previews of your scenes, make quick mockups, previs, layouts, uh, etc. So I'm going to use some matcaps that I did and also some that I downloaded online uh, so you can find tons of them uh, on internet from Pixelogic uh, websites or, or Blender or anywhere online you can find thousands of them which you can download and try. So let's try this tool. So first of all when you open it you see that it changes the lighting of the scene because it's basically putting high quality and changing the lighting and shadows and material and viewports as realistic material with maps. So this, um, these matcaps are using OSL thanks to tutorials from Eloy Andalus and Changsu Eun. Um, so you don't have to set up these manually. You can do this manually of course but this uh, this tool make it uh, automatically so you don't have to go into the, um, the shaders manually so it's going to be way faster. So let's keep this one. So first of all you can open a folder where you stored your matcaps. So I have one here for example, uh, matcaps and I made my own folder structure but you can make your own. Okay, so I just uh, organized all my matcaps here and you select the folder. Now what it does, it, it's populating all the, mm, the names here in the list Okay, and each time you click on the folder name you see what's in the folder here. You can also filter uh, all the shaders by name, so if you tip red for example, you're gonna get all the shadow balls which has red in their name. So if you click on it you see there is red written here here as well. It's red clay, zebrash red wax, etc. So now let's apply some matcaps. I'm going to select all my objects and apply a matcap. So to do that I just click on one of the shadow ball here and it's going to apply the shader on my selection uh, and it's going to instance uh, the shader on each object. So if for example I choose a shader like um, like this one okay I can go into the shader editor here select an object and edit the parameter of this shader and it's going to be changing on all the objects because this shader has been instanced uh, on this on these objects. So what can you do here? So we just saw that we can rotate the matcap image which is nice if you have some lighting information okay or even some kind of reflections like that okay it can be pretty cool okay you can also animate this uh, rotate value so it's going to be quite nice if you play the animation you can see the light is moving you can also flip right left top and bottom of the image okay and you can change some colors so you have here high mid and low values and you can change these colors like that so the mid values the high, high values here to change only the highlights the low values 
so you can change the color and the value here okay you also have access to HSV and RGB values and the hash code value here and you see here there is a shadow parameter what it does is it's adding the lighting of the scene on top of your matte cap okay so you can have some pretty cool results like that so depending on the lighting of your matte cap it can uh, kind of conflict with the lighting of your scene so I have a light for example in my scene here which is coming from this place okay and you see in my matcap that the main lighting is coming from left so it can it can make some pretty weird results so you can rotate a matcap like that for example to get the, the main lighting coming from the same place which will always look better so the idea here is not, is not to make a realistic rendering but just to make a quick um, quick mock-up of your of your materials and lighting before you really go into shading and rendering stuff so you can have a, a library of your of your best uh, of your, your best shaders and just apply them for testing There is even some matcaps which looks like uh, refraction uh, shaders like that. You can have some cool reflection or refraction effects. And it's not affecting the, the playback at all, so you can just play your animation. It's just uh, going to be super fast so what else can we do with this so we've seen the shadows okay let's apply a, another another shader here so let's now assume that you did some kind of quick uh, color layering with the um, the wire colors like I did here okay let's go back to my materials you can affect the colors of your shaders here with the wire color so go to tools colors from wire color and it's going to color all the um, the shaders independently so it's going to de-instance them and apply a color on each of them and you can of course adjust it okay so I have a tool here which uh, randomize my wire colors for example and you can see that I can quickly apply that onto all these shaders uh, which is quite nice okay if you did some color work before Okay, so now let's apply one uh, one main shader like that and do some changes. So I'm going to select this object, okay? And we saw earlier that if you select an object and modify its colors, it's going to modify the, the shaders uh, everywhere where it's been instanced. So what you should do first is press U here to make unique. And it's going to make this shader unique and you can just affect this one okay so I have a nice blue color that I like here and I would like to get this shader uh, on other parts of my character so I'm going to select some parts like that okay and I have a pick button here to pick the color of another shader so it's going to instance 
this shader onto these objects so I can now adjust the colors of all of them at the same time okay I can do the same here so I make unique and I will modify this color and I would like to get this elsewhere I'm going to pick the shader and it's going to apply it here okay um, I don't know if I don't remember if I showed you uh, the reset button but if you messed up with the values here you can reset the matte cap as it was originally okay and you can also let's apply another matte cap here okay and apply the same on some other objects like these okay you have on tools here some functions to so you have the make unique it's exactly the same function as you have here you can clear the material and you can select objects by material so if I select my pants here okay and press select object by material it's going to select all the objects which has the same shader so let's try with this helmet select objects by material and it's going to select them correctly so I showed you the function to make material unique uh, let's use clear material so it's just removing the materials from my selection Okay, so I can apply some matte caps again. You can change the size of this library, you can change the main size of all this, toggle this uh, panel here, and I think that's all. Uh, if you right click on the shadow ball, it's opening the explorer here on the right folder so you can see all your images here and if you add some more uh, matcaps downloaded online for example or that you are modifying on Photoshop or anywhere else you can press the refresh folder here it's going to uh, refresh all the folders and get all the new matcaps in, in here and I think that's it. Uh, oh yeah, I, I haven't showed you, but you can also apply a stylized matcap. So it it can be really, I mean, a really different kind of stuff. That's why I downloaded a lot of them online, and you can have a lot of different effects. And one of them is a stylized uh, result like this one, for example. You see, on um, this matcap there are some lighting uh, rays like that which looks uh, cartoony so if I play the animation it's going to look to look nice as well and you can uh, of course change the colors if I use the colors from wire color you can quickly see uh, the kind of uh, cool um, cartoony effect that we can get and uh, you can also have some of them with a black uh, black contouring like this one okay which can make it look as well uh, a bit more a bit more stylized okay So that's it for the tool itself. Mm, now, how to create a matte gap? I'm not going to show you all the all the process of it, but it's uh, I mean it's fairly simple. Okay, I have a scene somewhere mm, like this, for example. Okay, 
I don't have Vue installed on this machine, but the idea basically is to create a sphere in your scene, okay, like that. Uh, make a camera and make it fit the borders of your sphere into a square texture, okay, and then you can. Uh, Add some lights, shade it uh, the way you want with the the rendering engine you want. Render the image, and that's it. You have your matcap. You can edit it in Photoshop. You can do whatever you want to it. It doesn't even have to to look uh, like a three D sphere. I mean, I mean, if you like, if you look at this, uh, it looks pretty flat to me. Okay, there is no not a lot of information. This one as well, it's just a white circle with a, a black circle around it. So you can also paint it uh, directly in Photoshop or do do whatever you want uh, to get this ball, even um, take a picture of a, a chrome ball or do... I mean there is tons of different ways to to do that and of course as I said download uh, some of them from internet because some of them are quite cool so that's it I look forward to see what you're gonna do with this uh, and uh, just have fun yeah cheers <laughs>